I'm back and welcome with another tier list. I was thinking about uh, taking a day off today, but whatever. Um, and we're going to be doing my favorite Smite Gods tier list today. Um, if you follow the channel for some time or have watched any content, as of last year, this was pretty much my game that I played pretty much every day. I still played a lot, but just changed routes in the content creation, so we're not really doing that. But this will be kind of a nice send off to talk about something that was previously part of this channel's iteration, previous iteration. So, um, once again, this is just strictly uh, gods that I think are the most fun, are my favorites, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, I want to put Aphrodite as a C. Um, reason being, she's just absolutely not a fun. I like healing in general is just not a fun mechanic in Smite. Um, and I think like if you pair her with a god like Susano, um, she's just it's just like the worst thing in the world to go against or Kabraken, um, specifically in non-conquest game modes. Um, I did like playing her in solo a little bit. She can be fun in that regard. Um, conquest, to some degree, can nerf her absolute crazy healing. Um, they attempted to alter healing a little bit with some updates, but it didn't really work as intended. At least not 100%, but um, just not really that fun. Um, if you make her full healing, she's a little bit squishy and people can dive you. Um, if you make her tanky, it's just kind of just pointless because her healing scales off of um, her magical power, I believe. So I, I don't really see there being like a high skill gap in playing. I don't really see anything fun about her kit. She's just a healer, probably much by the numbers. Um, Agni is an interesting god in, due to the fact that he has um, multiple applications of his ultimate, which um, is a pretty, pretty interesting and unique aspect. I guess there's a couple guys that might have that. Um, but in terms of, for me, I am never looking to really pick Agni. Um, a lot of times I feel like he's just kind of used in, as a way to apply either the his dot damage or mostly stuns, so you can go really high cooldown and just stun a whole bunch of people, or just damage from a range. But I think it's pretty cool that he's probably one of the few gods who, level 1 in Conquest, you get his dash to clear because it's the best clear. That's pretty unique, um, but I'm never really looking to play this character. Not that he's not fun. I have a little bit of appreciation for his kit, like the fact that there's multiple ways to stun people, but um, cool-ish cool god, been around pretty much forever, um, but not my favorite. Um, Amaz and Cobb, um, I hate that fucking stinger, bro, and they just made that shit OP as fuck, but I can never hit it, and the fact that he's left-handed is really fucked up. Um, I don't know if that messes with anybody else, but it's really weird for me. Um, no mobility makes him pretty fucked. Early clear is nice, though. Um, I personally don't typically, it's not like exactly my first god I'm going to if I go to the hunter tab. Um, it's, it's just one that I will play if I haven't played it in a while or I'm looking for high clear. Um, I don't know, it's pretty, it's pretty interesting to be able to use him with like a blue stone build and just, uh kind of do as much damage as possible and play him more like in that way as opposed to like an auto attack hunter but I don't know nothing special there there is nothing okay I will give Apwash a C because you can play him in solo and kind of troll I did that only one time and it was terrible it didn't really work out for me because I didn't understand the whole aspect of picking up the bodies and stuff and how to like build to make that the best I guess just straight cooldown um, but in terms of like a god in mid at like a mid um the first kind of like level one is atrocious and then in any other game mode he's just ridiculously overpowered because you get all of his moves at the beginning and he can just clear with one go i suppose his low mana kind of makes it shit but um early anyway um but i'm not having fun with this character um ever okay um amaterasu is probably my favorite character in the game um I like her a lot, but right now, in 
I pretty much find her to be totally unplayable in solo lane, which is pretty disappointing because she is so fun, especially if you can get, um, you know, I thought when Sickle got back into the game, um, or Death's Toll, whatever it's called, um, that it would be more interesting, but just simply God not. God damn right. Um, it's just not fun at all. Thanks, Michael. Did it tell me that you did that? Anyway, yeah, it did. It just told me again. But cool. Appreciate it, Michael. Um, but like um, the healing nerf, the global healing nerf, I think hurt her probably more than anybody. And then she's just kind of not really a playable character in most in Conquest. In other game modes, probably. Maybe you could play her in like a support role. We've seen that in the past uh, with people like Emilzy and stuff. Am I very quiet? I shouldn't be. Um, I got to figure out a way to adjust that, but um, we'll figure that out at some point. Um, to this, at this point, if you could just the volume, try that. Um, I got to find a way to kind of bump up the gain, but we'll talk about that at some point, or I'll figure that out. Um, how is it a new one? You just gave me it. Oh. Resubscribe for seven months, resubscribe for seven months, five days, a minute ago. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, back to this. Um, I like being able to put weird items like uh, Shield of Regrowth on her and being really, like, fast. Um, Breastplate is probably her best item. I think she's a little bit weird because you have to kind of decide between um, cooldown and auto attack and how to get those two together. Um, the fact that there's cooldown on Shogun's is kind of nice, but uh, I just don't really see any place for her. Also... Um, if there was, like, kind of an adjustment of her three, I just think it's a little goofy. Um, the hitbox is really just kind of weird um, and jarring, but when you hit it, it's very satisfying. Um, pretty. I also like the fact that you can be using your ult and channeling your two and then hit people with both at the same time. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. Um, kind of mechanical thing. I like on her, but I think I suck with him. Which is disappointing. If you get a, it's he's a good god early game, especially in duo. Um, what is there to say about him? Uh, just really high pressure, and I like the idea of his, um, his pillar. I I think that uh, because I came from game modes that didn't have as much geometry um, before I started playing conquest. I played like Joust and Clash for years before I ever played conquest. Um, I never really got to appreciate him for what he is. But um, you can do some really cool stuff with that uh, pillar, you know, block people up and stuff like that. Um, so I think it's a really fun character, really well made. But I'm not putting him really super high for me because I'm just terrible. So that's part of it too. Um, I think Anubis is fun to play. He's probably one of the least fun gods to play against though, especially in think something like uh, a Joust, although he doesn't have like anywhere to play. Maybe I should play him in solo soon. Because uh, I, I don't think I've ever... I probably have played him in solo, but um, uh, in terms of, like, Joust, it's just a it's terrible god to play against. He has limited mobility, but if he can get into the Titan, he can just ult it, and then it's just pretty much over. Um, so, I don't know. He's a, he's, a, he's a decently fun god to play, definitely not to play against. Um, and there's just some annoying things about him. I, who was I hearing complaining about? Oh, I think it was Deathwalker was complaining about his rap the other day. Um, I don't know if I t completely agreed with his assessment, but um, it's interesting. Um, but just okay, not a lot to say there. Um, I think Al Kuang is really fun to play. I just don't play him as much and can be really stupid once you get him online. And I think that's part of the issue is getting him online. Um, I think if more people mastered him and played him in like casual conquest or something, they would just destroy probably everyone. Um, but... I don't think people are good enough with him to kind of have that uh, amount of uh, impact in the game. Um, most people that you just play with casually anyway. Um, I would say that Apollo is probably average. The only thing I really don't like about Apollo um, is the fact that like, if you play like a Donza Burrow, let's see other um, gods, like a Cupid, Donza Burrow, uh, Meath, Medusa, those guys that have um, really impactful ultimates can really make your lane feel terrible. And that feels really bad, especially for 
you know, hunters who spend like an, an incredible amount of time in lane gathering XP. Uh, it's not really fun, but obviously it gives you a presence globally, which is, um, <sighs> which is invaluable, but I don't know. I just, uh, I, I remember Baskin playing Apollo mid once upon a time, and there's probably others that have done that as well. I think, yeah. Was that when he was spa with Space Station Gaming? Or no, was that United? Probably United, because I think it was when we thought... It, I thought they were going to be a really good team, and they really weren't that good. Um, but uh, I'd like to have an ultimate that was more impactful in lane. I just like to body people. I don't... You know, team fight, we can, we can talk about that later. Um, but... Uh, okay, God. I like the fact that he does the attack speed build really well and synergizes with that. Achilles, I'm going to go with an S... He's definitely not my favorite guy in terms of model or anything like that or kit. Um, I think the three is really innovative, especially in solo lane. You have to try to get both applications. So hit the hit the wave and then hit the player through the wave so that you can get the second application um, to get the highest damage output. Um, I think his ult is probably the most fun thing, although I'm kind of broken. And sometimes I'm kind of surprised that we don't see him into more Kepri comps and stuff like that. Um, just so you can just kill them without them getting revived. But uh, I think that his kit is okay. He's not my favorite, but there is some really satisfying things in his kit, like the three and the ultimate. Um, I feel like Arachne is only really ever... If you want to stomp somebody in like a casual Joust game or something you play, or some people really make... Um, people try to make her work in Conquest. I just don't think it really... If you have decent comps, I just don't think it works. With Mannequin Scepter, I think her clear is a little bit better. Um, you got Golden Blade too, but I feel like that kind of fell off. That was kind of like a really big thing. I, was that season five or six or whatever? Uh, whatever when Mercury was huge, that was probably five um, before they changed his one. Um, I don't have a lot of fun with her, personally. I think she's kind of easy to counter if you have teammates who have a brain, but most don't. Um, I don't know how fun she is, and she'd probably be one of the guys they're looking to rework. Um, and I also play, like... If you have someone on your team who's playing her, she's really not fun because most of them do stupid shit like use her ult to get in instead of getting out, which is just fucking stupid. So, there's that. Um, Ares. I think Ares is an A, and he's uh, one of the favorite guardians I like to play because I like to do damage when I'm a guardian. But I think his problem is is that people think that he's a really easy god to play because his ult is just like, you know, cooldown ult or cooldown ult, cooldown out. But really... Um, he gets kind of boxed in as an alt bot, but I think that the chains are really cool, especially if you want to play him in solo. Once again, you gotta have to you have to do like an Achilles where you're applying the chains through the minions, but trying to also hit the god. Um, it's a kind of it's a very challenging to try to do that as well and try to play him in solo properly, especially with high under um, other high damage solo laners. Um, and if you're uh, new to starting the game, I would really highly suggest playing solo because you're going to learn every god's minutia and all that kind of stuff and learn how to play the game really well. Um, but uh, also interesting, I like playing him in jungle every now and again. Um, he has actually pretty ridiculous jungle clear. So um, I'm going to put Artemis at C. Another god, when I was talking about Apollo, that is just better than Apollo because she has that boar but has no mobility, which is a downside. Um, I'm not really a fan of the changing of her passive from a crit passive to the CC passive. I think that was kind of a a weak um, quality of life change, which was pretty disappointing. Um, and she's kind of unplayable in Conquest because of her lack of mobility. But, she, I mean, she has great teamfight because of the ultimate. I don't know. Um, if you play her in any other, thing, any other game type, she's pretty... She can be pretty good because of what she brings to the table with that ult. But, like, if you're playing, like... Joust, a god like Apollo would do nothing, but she does great work. So, um, But I don't know if she's all that fun to play overall. Um, Ardeo? Another guy that I think gets boxed in a little bit because they um, they basically look at her as like an ability spam character when in actuality she can be probably one of the most disruptive gods in Smite uh, into certain matchups. Um, if you use that Cripple Field appropriately if you can kind of time the stun with big damage um she's a really great god really fun god and uh is very malleable i guess she can go into um, a couple different roles um i think she's 
I think they got a little bit silly with stance switching a little bit. Um, but I think she's one of the ones that really feel like the stance switching works and it works really well. Um, it's not unbalanced or anything like that. It's just really nice. Although she can get tanky as a motherfucker late game. It is really annoying, especially with that dash. She can just get away really easy. Um, I'm going to put Athena in B. I almost never play her. Um, she's kind of simple on the surface, but um, when you're trying to like maximize, maximize reach um, and um, play her at the highest level, she is she can be a little bit more difficult to play. Um, I think that no matter what happens, Athena is probably always going to be a, f a good pick just because of the ridiculous nature of her taunt and it has such good setup. Also, um, Global Ultimate is ridiculous, but um, I don't think she's the most fun Guardian to play necessarily. Um, you, play, you, you provide a very niche... Um, uh, you you uh, you offer very niche things, I guess. Um, you, you have the CC and you have the global ultimate, um, and that's just about it. R pretty tanky as well. Um, I really like a Wheelix. I don't think I'm the best a Wheelix, but there are very few um, abilities that feel better to hit than when you knock somebody up from behind and then gravity surge them. Um, I think that's Suku. I, I think it's one of the probably best design gods in terms of the most fun interesting way that they put together the kit and pretty interesting for when she came out because she's been out a lo really long time um the the moonlight somersault whatever the hell it's called um is a really cool move really interesting one of the most probably unique moves in smite um a lot of damage which is really fun um, i was trying to play her in solo that wasn't as good Basically just jumped to the back line and just got hit by everybody and died. Yeah, Gucci. Gucci plays a lot of a Wheelix. But I think she's fun. I like her quite a bit. Um, do I have any gripes with her? I don't think so. Uh, she's just not my personal favorite god. But um, if you can master her, she's ridiculous. Um, I watch a lot of Deathwalker and Solo or Troll and Solo just absolutely... Uh, Solo or Troll's flicks with this character. They'll just turn around and knock people up and it seems effortless, which is really impressive. I don't have anything to say about Bacchus. He belly flops you. He gets you drunk. He drops the he drops the wine on your head. Um, Bacchus and Dionysus, I guess, are the same god. Go look up the Dionysian mysteries online. That's some weird stuff. That's all I got to say about him. A, a deep dive into Greek mythology, I suppose. Is Bacchus the Roman one, then? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to put Baca in B. I almost forgot his name. I always want to play Baka, but then I look at it and say to myself, basically, unless I have my ultimate, I'm going to be useless. But my jungle here is going to be stupid good. Um, and late game, I can kind of be a carry. But like, the question is, is like, if you played a jungle Vamana, or you played Baka, does jungle Vamana just give you more? And I kind of think it does because you technically have a knockup, so CC, you have a slow, um, you do a crazy amount of damage with your basic attacks, um, which Bakasura Baka can do as well. But I just don't think he's that great, and he's kind of dated, and his player model is really awful. As, and including this picture, it just needs it needs some work. Um, the the clear is great though, so if that's your bag, it's it's fine. Um, I really don't think there's anything fun about this character, um, Baron Somdi. So you can either play him in support, you can play him in mid, or you can play him in solo. I think mid is terrible um, because he doesn't have the extremely high burst damage. Um, his ultimate's basically going to be single target, um, although it has great CC, but you can have CC from other roles and it'd be perfectly fine. You'd rather just have the high damage. Um, if you're using him, it, I almost never play him because I just don't find him all that fun. Um, I'm going to put him in D, actually. Um, if, if you play him in solo, you're just standing at your tower line hoping to give someone the suck um, and say, hey, get in. Um, I haven't seen someone play him in support in forever. I think that was a um, uh, Jeff Hinla special at one point. Maybe it was just an um, entire SBL special. I'm not really sure. But I remember Jeff playing him quite a bit. Um, 
and I just don't see it. The healing is cool, but it, it's to get the maximum amount out of it, you have to do it while in combat, and I think it's probably just like a poke thing mostly. Um, I don't know. He's not a great character right now, and I don't think he adds enough for the role. And then if you play him in other game types, he's just really annoying. And then you have teammates who don't just jump in the coffin when they're supports, so that really sucks. I just don't enjoy him. Um, best stat, I'm going to put an A. She's ridiculously strong at the current moment, as of January 2022, where basically, if you weren't Scream, she was kind of unplayable. Um, previous to that. Um, so, I... I the only thing I will say is when you play against her, she is not even really high um, cooldown, but just cooldown. She can just do the like jump and then jump backwards and then do it again and then she can get away from you. That's that's not a really fun thing. And I don't think that the um, the ultimate was really. It's a cool ultimate. I just don't think it's a cool ultimate for her. They were talking about how they wanted to diversify her kit um, because they felt like she played very one dimensionally. But I mean. What God and Smite has are multi-dimensional. That in itself is just kind of a misnomer, right? I mean, um, they all these guys do certain things because they're good at certain things because you're building comps around them. That doesn't. The whole purpose of picking a God is for that reason, not to have them have everything in the in the book. She's supposed to jump in, do a bunch of damage, get out, not be able to grab you from forty miles away. I think that was an absolutely idiotic change, and I don't know who is behind it. Um, not to be inflammatory towards that person or anything. I just think that it was not. It didn't make any sense, and their justification for it didn't make any sense either. Um, Bologna also, um, one of my favorite gods, just an absolute beast to play with um, if you're really, really good with her. Um, I don't think that Solo Lane, uh, ha the items for Solo Lane really are lending to her right now, but in terms of kit, I don't think there is a probably a better thought out. Maybe a couple. I think that my SS tier might be very solo lane heavy because I'm a solo laner by trade, I guess. But um, I just think that like the way that you can play her into into hunters, into auto attack gods, um, it, it's it's a very um, specific way and very prescribed, and I really like it. Um, like the way that they give you a lot of options to do um, things. Like it's it's best to use this in this situation than this. Um, and in solo lane, there's a lot of outplay potential, which is really cool. Um, I think that she uses a sickle or death's toll. I always call it sickle because it is. Um, way better than a moderatsu. Moderatsu kind of sucks. But I think Bologna is also not really all that great either, but she's way better than a moderatsu. So. Um, I'm going to put Kabrakin in C with um, Afro. I don't think he's very fun. Um, if you play him in jungle, you got the like the one shot thing, but his clear isn't like amazing. Um, if you play him in solo, you just sit there and bang on the ground for a really long time. Um, especially with Afro, it's just kind of dumb. Um, that's a, a kind of a big joust issue, you know. But um, I don't know. It's Kabrakin. Uh, I don't think that his kit is very inventive or special or anything like that. He's just Kabrakin. Kama, I'm gonna put Kama in A. Um, you can play him in solo. I've seen a lot of. I've seen some ADC. Shout out to uh, Kama Taco ADC, um, and probably others. Uh, I could. I suppose I should have shouted out a bunch of other things like uh, Achilles ADC. I think that Cyclone Spin special. I think he did that for a while. But um, high damage and can just be absolutely insane in solo. Shout outs to Jarkor, I guess, and Cubo Fred in. in the jungle and a number of others. I think Layers plays them. Actually, yeah, it's one of his favorite gods. So uh, very can play a number of different roles and is very uh, fun to play. Um, I think it's a very high skill god too. Um, if you're talking about hitting the skill shots or um, if you're jumping over people's um, abilities to gain iframes, especially in solo, that would be true. Um, I would definitely try to play the god if you can. Um, I think this god's pretty underrated. Um, not in terms of play or anything like that, but in terms of enjoyability. Um, you can jump on minions and kill them to get health. Um, the anti-heal factor is pretty cool as well. Just standing next to people with healing, you're able to siphon that for yourself. High damage with the one. Um, and so later, I'm still trying to kind of figure it out. 
Uh, he's kind of been a mystery to me, but um, it's in development. Um, but uh, good God, I think. And the kit is pretty interesting. They did some tweaking with um, when you use your ult, it charges your one, which was a good change. And they did some good changes with him as well. Um, he has some good use of items. Void stone, probably breastplate. Um, I like him quite a bit. Kernunos. I think Kernunos is interesting, but why ever play this god over literally any other ADC? I don't think there's really a point or a situation where you would. And then utilizing the seasons that aren't the healing season or the damage season, I just don't really see it happening. I just don't see why you would. Um, and if you are, it would be like really ridiculous high level stuff uh because i don't i mean that's the, the amount of mental processes you have to go through in a um, team fight to be able to like apply that i don't i don't i don't really see it um he has an alt that basically is just um hair is two which seems silly i don't know if the durations are different um You have to, like, dash to do damage to, like, get the most out of him, which is kind of weird. The brambles are really stupid. It's a, it's it's better than those two, but I just don't see it. Um, Chalk is kind of getting a resurgence, uh, building Transcendence and Bluestone and Solo. I think he's a horribly unfun guy in any other game mode. When he gets a late game, all he has is his ult, which he gets every two seconds, so I guess that's good. But, uh, I mean, he bullies in lane and then doesn't really offer a whole lot other than that. Um, he's Chalk. Shout out to Chalk mid. Was that uh, BMT? Did BMT do that with mouse esports? Mouse sports, whatever. I think so. I'm going to have to look at the... Watch watch back the VODs. Um, I mean, so, I do not like Chunga as a mid laner at all um anybody who plays her in support no but solo lane is fun and she's interesting in that regard um shout outs to benji on that one as well really making her look good in solo i don't know if that was season four or five uh, probably four five maybe some in five i'm trying to think of who he was with in season five was he still with united yeah i guess so um Yeah, she's, I mean, healers aren't aren't really cool, but, like, solo lane with her is fun. Her ult is cool, especially if you can get multiple avocations in one use. Um, Cherno, once again, I think suffers from not having the lane ultimate, but has a global ultimate, which is really nice for him, and he can land on um, enemies, which I think really makes it balanced as opposed to... So Apollo's ult, um, ultimate is balanced because he has to use mana, whereas Cherno Bugs, Bugs is balanced because you can't just, like, say you want to go everywhere or go on a somewhere safe. You have to kind of choose or, or just go straight down. So I think that's a his ultimate is good. His kit is a little basic. Um, just kind of, like, throw one, try to hit two, stun. But you do you can use the two to get your attack speed up, which is interesting, I guess. Um, Kronos is kind of an OG I don't know how long he's been around. Maybe he was at launch. He does look like he has an older model, but really cool ultimate. Um, if you put on a Mana Conceptor, it slaps. I think his passive is a little not great. I mean, I guess as long it, the longer the game goes, the better he gets, which is good. Um, but I, I think that could probably use some reworking. I guess it works with the time thing. Kind of perplexing that Kronos doesn't use Kronos Pendant. Um... I don't know if that applies to multiple characters where they have an item named after them and they don't use it. Um, the wheel is cool. I don't really see myself using much other than the ability wheel for the early game and then auto attacks late game. Um, does ridiculous amount of damage to towers, which is cool. Um, I like the character. Don't love him. Um, I think he's more unique than some of the other ones. Um, I don't think Kukulin is my favorite solo laner, but there's a lot of outplay potential, and Benji again, uh, he has a skin for it, so, um, but, uh, I think it's a fun character to play, um, it's gone through some interesting changes over season eight, where you, we were using, like, 
Mannequin Scepter. I think before at some point you could use Bluestone, and then we got the overpowered Warrior's Axe. Um, and he's kind of fun. He's fun to play. He's definitely fun to just get in the back line and just get in a bunch of people's faces, and you don't have to really worry a lot because you're just really OP. He uses Mystical Mail really well. I'm kind of surprised that he's not used as often because of just his natural application of Mystical Mail, but, you know, whatever. I'm going to put Cupid in C. I like Cupid, but I faced a Charybdis, and she'd just go underground when I was using him, and I'd hit them with a with a heart bomb, and they'd just not get stunned, and that was horrible. Um, his ultimate can be um, either beat it out of or sprint it out of, which I don't see a lot of people using sprint in that fashion, but I think you should pick up sprint every time. By a lot of people, I mean in my casual games. I, that's not really a sample size that's worth shit. But, um, yeah, he's just kind of a, an okay character. Um, his kit really only gives him auto attacks in a one, which is not that great. He might, I think it's interesting to use minions, like get them low and then pop the, the thing so you stun people. That is interesting, um, but eh, not a great kit. Dodgy is one of my favorite characters. Um, I think the auto attack cancel on the one, um, the ultimate, which it seems really hard to have, or harsh, to have a um, assassin that has such great CC, um, but it is great. Uh, her scaling is wonderful. Clear could be really good. Um, a teleport. It seems like a god that should be really probably utilized more than she is. I, I know uh, Adapting was using her a lot uh, when he was with Radiance. Um, I don't know if I don't know what was up those Radiance teams. They had like all this talent and they just never brought it together. I don't know if it was a team synergy thing or what, but um, or who was shot calling. But, um, oh, I don't know why that's happening a lot. But uh, I like her a lot. Discordia, I think, is, I like playing her. I think she's kind of a rewarding character to play in terms of how it feels to hit her stuff. Um, ultimate is just okay. Uh, cooldowns seem a little bit long, but I don't know if that's because they're trying to make you utilize her three to gain more cooldown, uh, which could be the case. Um, I don't know if she really feels all that great all the time, though, to play. Um, I think she suffers a little bit from being really enjoyable to play, but doesn't do enough damage to, like, one-shot people. And it kind of becomes, like, why would you play Discordia and not Mage XYZ, you know? I really love me some Erlong. Um, solo, he's really fun. I beat some kid's ass yesterday with him. Uh, jungle, I attempted to beat some kid's ass with him, but just got griefed by my solar laner all day. Um, I think his kid is really great. Um, I like the I like auto attack gods, um, like physical ones that have to be in melee range to hit, and he's one of those. Um, passive is cool. Ultimate is good. Um, I don't have a single problem with this god. Very good for setup for teammates as well. Great. Um, I don't really see myself playing Fafnir that much. I like Fafnir a lot, but I think that his kit is kind of high execution. Um, so if you're not hitting stuff, it's kind of rough. Um, I think there's just easier guys to play with more confirmable CC, but he's got a disarm, he's got a stun, uh, he's got a stim and a heal. He's got also the ultimate. Uh, if you're going, obviously, into an auto attack comp, there is no better guardian. Um, that's all I gotta say. Uh, Fenrir. Um, once again, I think Fenrir gets a bad rap as just an alt dot. Um, if you play him in solo, you gotta utilize the two properly so that you heal. Um, can be played in jungle, solo uh, support. Um, his scaling is really good early game. Um, he does a lot of damage. He does a lot of damage and can get, can get tanky and has good CC. He has two different forms of CC. Um, I think the change for that gave runes when using your two was a pretty good one. It really helps specifically in solo for outplays. Um, yeah, so I think that the tweaks made it a better god than what it was before. Um, Freya's just a bad god. No matter what they do with her, they can't seem to figure her out. Um, love, I mean, everybody loves Freya late game, but the early game is just so terrible and punishing. And then you also get those people who 
either use the three in a totally ineffective or ignorant or just plain head scratching way, uh, trolling your teammates. Basically, I had that in a game recently. I don't even know why someone would play Freya in that in that way. They had they experimented with when she had her two, where she could kind of like turn it off and turn it back on at her whim. I think there's a high skill ceiling with her because you have to. If you're playing your conquest, you have to figure out how to do the basic attacks when they're melee range, or if they're long range, when to hit your one to then apply the slow, and then, or I'm sorry, the two to apply the slow, and then the one to do the damage. Um, I just don't think she's very good right now, and it doesn't make her very fun to play. Specifically in conquest, just makes her just a chore, and um, I don't think we should play be playing characters who feel like they're laborious. So, um, I don't think Ganesh is like. The best guardian or anything and um i think it's hard to play him to like his highest ability um you know uh, i don't see a lot of people um oming channeled abilities which is exactly what it should be used for um the ultimate is nice because it has a low cooldown um has a lot of applications especially with gods like fenrir um can be can be fun to play i guess if you're hitting your dashes, that's pretty pretty nice. If you hit the dash and hit him on the line, that's really good. Um, I just don't find him all that rewarding to play all the time. Occasionally, I'll pick him up and it feels good. Um, I think Geb might be the most fun guardian to play. Just in terms of the fact that he's the most defensive and the most strategic. Um, he can engage fights with his ultimate in a blink. He can also save your teammates with his threes um, defense as well as... Um, the cleanse, which um, some people, I feel like it's a very um, streaky, um, that's what I'm looking for, streaky, like people will use it and use it well on occasion or several times in a row, uh, but it takes someone that has really good map awareness, also being able to still fight and do things, but then turn around and know someone's low, um, so I think it's pretty skill, skill based and skill heavy. Um, and uh, it just kind of depends on how good your Geb is on your team or how good you are with Geb. Um, I like him, but there's there's some issue still there. Um, usually, I mean, just like anything, it's my issue usually the player. Um, I don't know if Guan is all that fun. He has a heal that you get more healing the more you're hurt, which I guess is, in terms of a solo lane, it's a very trade-off mentality, which is cool. Um... The three seems kind of dated. The two seems kind of dated. The ultimate is fine. I had someone miss it on me yesterday, which is pretty embarrassing. Um, I like the, bit, the fact that you're able to cancel it early. Um, I think that sometimes once, you, once he gets his cooldown, though, he's very tough to, to kill, um, which could be annoying or not annoying depending on what side of token you're on. Um, I think that he's one that heals himself in combat, though, so that global nerf to healing um, isn't as impactful, I don't think, um, to him. Um, but once again, healers aren't really that fun or interesting. Um, I think I have every healer so far, like, kind of in C or below. Right? Not everyone who has a heal, but healers. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I, I don't know. I think there could be some reworking with Guan, specifically at three. It just kind of feels bad. Um, Hachi is a really safe hunter. Probably the second safest, maybe, to um, Jing Wei. Um, really dislike his ranged auto one. Don't think it's that good. Uh, kind of goofy to hit. I think the three is interesting. The two is good. Ultimate is fine. Um, I like the the passive is actually pretty good. It makes him really, uh, t can make him a tough lane opponent because he has all that mana. Um, I think Hades might be just the most pointless god in the game and the worst god in the game by a design standpoint. The game that rework where he gets like a ridiculous amount of prots when he's in his ultimate, which just feels silly. I don't know why anyone's even just rework the god. Um, I think in terms of lore, Hades might be one of the most interesting gods. And in terms of gameplay, he's one of the most mundane. Um, I don't think really people even take into account, like, the Blight and then the, uh, you know, using an ability after the Blight or anything. They just kind of, like, dash in and do their business. And you can heal teammates and stuff, but people don't really do that. 
Um, solo lane, I just kind of find him annoying. I don't, I don't know. Not, not for me. Um, I put Habwa in A because he's really fun to play because you could just annihilate people, but I don't think he's really necessarily a great god in terms of uh, quality. It's kind of, I feel like clearing waves is really awkward with him as well. Trying to hit a three and then hit the rest of the wave. Um, crushing wave is a very good ability, feels good, other than the very like restricted nature of the box. You, you kind of wish you could move it more. Um, but um, he, he's just late game, he's just a menace. Um, Hell's early game feels like trash to me, it's really bad, doesn't feel good at all. Um, I think the thing that makes her even worse, actually, yeah, you know, what? let's I put her in B. Because actually, I think she's a little bit more fun and interesting than the other ones with her stand switching. Um, but the thing that I find most annoying is my teammates. You try to heal them, you try to do things for them, and they just wiggle waggle, and that's not fun. In fact, that's the worst. So, um, Hera, I personally enjoy playing her, but I think that there's some things wrong with her. Um, I think the one is interesting because you have a trade off of do I walk up to the wave and push them and hit them, or. Do I do it for a range and then sacrifice how many minions I'm hitting? Um, the two is eh, it can, you know, make it so the uh, individual can't do anything for a certain duration. But overall, I think basically you're just looking to drop Argus and drop all your stuff, hit your buttons. Um, I think the shield is pretty interesting for a um, immobile god. It kind of gives them an extra element, uh, dynamic element. Uh, it gives them a way to get away a little bit. Uh, it can be annoying if you're on the other side, though. Um, Hercules is goddamn tanky, probably to a point of ridiculousness at some points. Um, kind of fun to play in solo lane because you're, it's all about uh, hitting your stuff, kind of skill shot oriented. Um, I'm not, I really don't like facing him when you have to deal with his passive, which is basically he gets more power when he gets hit, which isn't very fun for the person going against him, especially early game. Um, that I wish that he was more tanky and just didn't have a heal. Um, the heal just kind of feels silly. Um, ultimate is fine. I like the fact that the ultimate can like clip over things, so you can throw it over walls and stuff, um, and can double tap people with it. Um, can be a really big menace. Um, late game specifically. I think Hui is probably one of the better design gods. Um, I'm not a big fan of his clear early. It's a little weak. But um, in terms of 1v1-ing, I don't think there's one that like, can compare, especially if you're using your geometry and hitting your bank shots. Um, you can jump on people. You can stun. You have an ultimate that's really good. Um, it doesn't have any of the problems of the Apollos of the world. He, he just, you know. And he's the one that can't be crit X amount of times or whatever, too, right? So um, that's pretty good. Um, or, or X amount of times and X amount of seconds so that's pretty good as well pretty good god pretty good design um he had a really broken jump at one point i think but um it looked really bad but the god feels really good right now um probably one of my favorite hunters but um i think the thing that makes him funny is he's pretty high execution in terms of the bank shots right um i think where some of the other gods who i say get a rough rap because they just say that they're alt bots like Ares. um I think Hoombots is actually just an alt bot. Like the monkey toss where you can teleport to it is really cool. But in the end, all it is about is basically, you know, using that alt. And he uses Erendite pretty well, which is cool. But it's just about like, can I get a really good alt? And then basically if you play with teammates like mine, then you're just getting all their beads and then they just turn around and kill you, um, which is really a bummer. Um, I think they made a set better since um since they reworked her with the like the shield from the three i really like hitting the stun she's got good early game clear um ultimate is really cool if people use it correctly which doesn't seem to happen all that often um i just don't really see myself wanting to play her she kind of just feels a little bit lifeless when you look at her on the screen you go i don't really want to do that i like the fact that she was being used in support that's interesting um, i think that was a genetic special I saw him playing it a lot in ranked. I don't know if that's true. It feels I, I think that Sino was also playing her in jungle, which is interesting. I don't. That man's doing everything. I think Chalk Jungle was his thing too. All of his gods, 
was it layers who played Juan Yu jungle? I don't know. All these weird guys were playing jungle at one point. Um, Iza, I think she's the best like auto attack hunter that you can get. Um, uh, ultimate is okay. Can be hard to hit at times if you're a bum. Um, I hate the, I hate the three. Not very good. Um, doesn't really get you away. Kind of silly. But I think the guy in general is pretty pretty fun to play. I think Janice is probably the most fun mage there is in the game. Got to get a good stretch in here. Um, the ultimate's really cool. You can use it in a range. You can use it to steal objectives. You can get it to move your team all over the place. I think the biggest problem is trying to get everybody in line to move them. Um, but uh, he's got a lot of ways to outplay people. And I think playing him at a high level is really hard. I... I'm really good at applying his damage. I'm not really good at helping out teammates out of rough situations. Um, but there are some people who are able to do both really well, and it's pretty impressive. Um, really fun god, really innovative god. Passive is a little weak, but what can you do? It at least synergizes with his lore. Um, I have a tough time ranking Jing. I'm going to put her in B because I really like her kit. I like her in general. really like her raven skin, even though it's really simple. Um, but she is just not fun to play right now. She is very weak, and she feels very weak, uh, which is rough. And, I mean, obviously, you can... I think Dart has played her in mid, but I think I wouldn't play her in anything other than ADC. I don't think Yorm is very fun either. Um, like, especially in solo, you just, like, go between the wave and hit your two, and that's pretty much it. And you're just a big snake boy. I don't think there's really any reason to be playing Yorm right now, but which is kind of sad. Um, Kali was one of the first gods I made when I was terrible because uh, we just were like, hey, let's get a, a ticking clock and just hope we can make it work. Um, you're probably going to get griefed a lot in your games you player because it takes some time to get her online and their early game jungler will probably be gank ganking and it'll make you sad because they'll yell at you. But I think her kit's cool. Um, I think she utilizes a lot of um, items really nicely. I think she's a very satisfying guy to play. Also, she can not die for like, you know, a billion straight seconds. Um, actually, Kepri might be. Kepri and Gab are two of my favorites. Um, Kepri has a range stun, which is a extremely rare, I believe. Uh, I guess you got your Moja. Um, like, asset. Um, I think he also has uh, the grab. Um, obviously the ultimate is kind of the apex of his kit. Um, really big boy. Um, I like him, but I think he's kind of simple. Once again, I think he's a pretty early god, so they don't have a lot of complexities. Um, Cuckoo is just a pusher. Drops that three. Clears waves really fast. Can be fun to play if you're like him or Rob because you clear uh, waves so fast. You can rotate to other lanes, get XP other places, and just get really far ahead. Um, but at the heart of it, I think... I think the, the things that separate good cuckoos from bad is just hitting the one and then possibly getting a polynomicon proc off um, if you're using that. I think it's kind of it should be kind of core. Um, but I don't I don't think he I mean can secure objectives really well. Um, I think it, if you can get kind of coordinated use out of him and like your your CC, then he can be a fun guy to play. But there's too many people just trying to rip off, like, one-shotting people and <laughs> just shooting it without any setup, and it's really just irritating to have on your team if they're playing it that way. Um, I don't think Kumba's really a fun god. Um, you always get people who play Kumba who don't set up anything. Um, they have all the CC and they just do nothing. I, I don't really get it. Um, I think that the CC in his kid is a little bit bloated. Um, pretty can be killed, it feels like, pretty easily early game. Um... Sleepy time passive is, you know, synergizes with his lore. I guess that's good. Um, I'm going to block this advertisement. No, I'm not. Never mind. Um, I don't know. Just, just not a wholly interesting guy. Definitely not one that involves, like, skill shots or anything. Um, but if you use these two together and you use them together well, it can be good. I really like Kuzumbo, actually. I think his shell thing is really cool. And then use the shell with the thorns and you can push people and you can do the hoi bounce with the little baby i think his um ultimate though is really fucking atrocious unless you're just trying to get people off of your carries then it can be really good but i don't think anyone really uses it that way they try to use it as like a setup 
and it just makes it fucking impossible to hit anything on them unless you got just like a really big circle. All right. Um, so once again, I think it's a player issue versus a uh, actual god issue. I think he's really fun though. I don't think that um, Loki is more fun in his current state. Uh, people who are really good with Loki are very impressive when they can kind of get like um, the backstabs or Hydra procs off or um, I think that it was kind of just better not to have the channeled three. I think it kind of hurt him. I don't think he's better than uh, basically any other jungler. You can put him in solo and he can just be a split pusher, but I don't think it's that interesting or fun or anything like that. Um, Medusa is kind of just a, a, I was going to say nemesis. That's not the word I was looking for, though. A nuisance um, in any other game mode that isn't Conquest. And then in Conquest, I just don't think that you're getting a much as much utility out of her ultimate as you need. Um, you can do a whole lot of damage if you build her ability base, but that, that means hitting everything, including a last rate, which might put you out of position. Um, clear is good with her two. I like her one. She's probably my one of my... I like her quite a bit. She's one of my favorite hunters, but I just don't think she is fantastic to play in Conquest and therefore makes her a little bit lame. Um, Mercury is a high execution god, late game god. Can really bring a crazy dynamic to your team late game, um, but special armor hurts him pretty badly. Um, and that, that isn't fun. You don't want that, so. All right, give myself a, a good a break. Get my lips wet a little bit because we're drying up over here. Um, Merlin is, I think, where the stance switching got kind of old. And I don't, like, I have an appreciation p for people who can play Merlin really well, especially because you have to utilize the stance switching. I am not good at it. I'm not good at landing literally any of this crap. And everyone I play with who is Merlin is usually really bad. So it doesn't make me feel really great about him. Um, I think he's one of the hardest guys to play at an optimal level in terms of that role. Um, at least based upon what I'm seeing with the shitters that I'm playing with my casual games. I never want to basically play this god myself. I find it really annoying. Uh, Morgan, um, she's probably my... F These are my two favorite mages. The only problem is that, that god select wheel, bro. It never gives me the right god. And I don't know what to do. And then you turn into it, and you're looking to use their ult immediately, and then you got some different ult or a different god entirely or a different play style, and it's just fucking awful. They need to do something. Why can we put the thing in the passive and select a god, but we can't just be like, yes, use it. You had to like, you, it brings up the whole dial. It's fucking stupid. And then it either gives you the wrong god or you're stuck on the dial. I hate it. Like, um, obviously part of this is because I play on controller, um... I've never been a keyboard and mouse person. I don't want to hear any negative things about that. But uh, um, obviously a Paul special. I, I think the god is probably one of the most interesting gods in the game. It's just really annoying to play. Um, I like Neath quite a bit. I feel like people don't use like the alt stun into the one stun into like just autos to kill enough. They want to use it to like one tap people just so they can say, hey, I got a kill. Uh, they don't use it to save teammates enough. Um, her kit is a little bit simple. I like the blowing up the weaves, which people don't seem to do enough, or use their two on it to heal. They don't do that enough. Um, but uh, has pretty much, is definitely not even remotely close to one of the best hunters to have on your team. You really probably don't want to see it. Um, but um, I think Nemesis probably has, so she's a really weird god because her, Passive is entirely reliant on attack speed, uh, but she's also got the ability aspects of her, so it's like kind of weird that you have to get cooldown but also attack speed. I think Malice is like a really interesting item on her, um, but uh, she's really high execution. And I think that most players, especially on a casual basis, cannot use her stuff well enough to make her viable. So um, if you're not auto attack canceling the three, um, if you're not dash cancel, auto dash, auto, you know, that kind of thing. Um, I don't know if it's really worth it. I feel like most people just are hoping that they can kind of one shot with their two or use their ult to slow and then kind of one shot with their two. And they, they don't really mix in the autos enough with the abilities to make it really viable. 
Um, so in that regard, I think like if you can play a uh, Fenrir, um, uh, and literally any other jungler, I guess um, they're probably easier to play, and you can probably play them more optimally. Op optimally. So why are you playing this god? Um, I think Naja is probably one of my favorite to play from the assassin role. Not that it's really fun right now because he takes so long to get online. Um, also, people misgender him all the time. I don't know why it's so difficult, but it's just I just hear him called she all the time, and I don't I don't understand it. Please get that correct. Um, but uh, a lot of skill shoddy stuff. Um, I think he's really fun to play in solo, actually. Um, you can build him attack speed, more attack speedy too. Um, you can build him with just the ability base. You can build him tanky. Um, he can be a support. He can be a jungler. He can be in solo. Probably not the greatest thing, but it can be fun. Um, and just has really satisfying moves. Has a really interesting kit. The ring bounce can be super annoying, but also super good. It's just kind of the most annoying thing is that it takes so long to get online if you're not playing. If you're playing him in jungle, that it's just really annoying. But it's clear is good. So. Um, I think Nike's A tier. I'm not completely convinced that the change of her two makes her more interesting. You can do interesting things with it. Incredibly tanky. I don't see nearly enough people buying uh, Sunder in my games. Um, but uh, pretty good solo laner. I have fun. She's one of the few warriors I do not um, have mastered. I'm uh, not mastered. Uh, diamond. Um, but she is pretty fun, and you can really, you can really fuck up some squishies if you jump in the back line with that ultimate. And actually, really fun to play as an assassin too. Um, I like playing Nox. I think she needs a, a rework because it's just not really at all viable in any way, shape, or form in Conquest. Um, if she's not like your main mage in the other game mode, maybe you can do something. I like playing her as support on occasion, but you never. I never want to see anyone playing this character because it's too hard to play optimally um, unless you're trying to stop a channel ability or something. Making the rope be able to pass through minions and do damage, sure, I guess. But, I mean, that's what made Achilles... Who's the other one I was talking about? And Ares interesting, but I don't know if it makes her interesting at all, really. Um, Nua, uh, I think she's probably the most... Not interesting guy in the game. Um, nothing about her kid is interesting. It's just really annoying, especially with the ult that can do a fuckload of damage to you at late game. I was playing in a match yesterday, and I was getting my ass kicked in solo, and it just made it worse that she was constantly taking you know 100 to 200 points of health away from me literally all the time. And she was just banging that ultimate, and it was really stupid. So... Um, I find Odin to be the most annoying person to play against in solo lane. Um, he just has that shield and he basically never dies. I'm not sure if I really like his three, the way they reworked it. Um, you can just like step up to someone with your three and they get slowed and then it's like unmissable, but it's just really not interesting, I don't think. And um, the ultimate is basically one of the only... Um, examples of something you could use phantom for it basically just takes up a, a slot which I guess in of itself I think is good uh, saw a lot of ice ice baby play this in world season four or five four or five he really likes this god uh, he played a lot of setup in his time in the SBL and uh, but I just really don't think the god is one of my favorites to play personally um, Osiris I think that I suffer from not being particularly good with this character um, but his auto attacks, his um, really cool passive, um, his ability to kind of balance kind of that auto attack and ability um, type thing is really cool. Really cool that you have to always manage his passive too, especially out of base at the beginning. Like I don't, I haven't really been watching him and trying to figure out how other people play him. Do they get really early? Like do they get like five of the um, phantom body parts and then use it in lane to make sure that they get the. Um, all eight gone so that they can have the uh, the hasten and stuff like that. I, I always wondered initially before I was wise why everyone was always attacking with Osiris when they were in the phantom form, but it gives you obviously the hasten effect. So, um, I never really play Pele um, in jungle. It's kind of just a pub stompy god. 
Um, does a lot of damage, which I guess is cool. Not a lot to really say about her in that regard. I need to play her in solo so we, I can get some data on that. Um, Poseidon is a really old school god. He hits the ult. Or you drop the three, you drop the ult. Or you drop the ult, you drop the three, you drop the one. You, um, the ring build is kind of cool, especially when you get hasten. Um, kind of like playing him in jungle, honestly. I know a lot of people think it's fucking horrible, but it's, it's really fun. I think I saw a Scream get a Penta with it, I, and I believe... Um, was it Twiggy? Did Ben play this a lot? And honestly, we remember Wolfie missing that Kraken on the uh, Fire Giant Net world. So, um, Chiron, a Venenu special uh, in mid. Um, I don't think he's one of the best hunters. Um, I love using Giddy up to apply damage. It's really fun. Um, I don't think he has the best kit. He's a pretty average god. Ultimate is okay. I don't think you're ever really super excited. I think that the fact that the one cleanses is really interesting. I'd like to be able to use it a little bit more, but I wish there was like another ability that had that on it. Like if his two did something else, because the one just is used for so many things, it's really hard to just use it as a cleanse, you know? I almost never play Raijin and really don't have a strong opinion on him. And I don't think I play with a lot of people who play uh, Raijin optimally. So that kind of takes the fun out of everything Ra, Ra is a tier um snipes really cool low cooldown can um confirm objectives which is really nice um has a heal uh one of the heals that at least feel impactful after they change it so that he does more damage inside of it um pretty interesting that you can use him at range or really close if you're like me you're a bum and gotta hit the two and hit the one and do it basically point blank range um, really like Ra. Don't know if he's the greatest mid though. Um, Rama feels terrible right now. Don't think he's very strong. Don't think he itemizes well at the current moment. But he has a great ultimate. He has a great kit. Pretty simple. He's a hunter through and through. I like that. Um, I like Ratatasker in solo and in jungle. Um, the nut thing is pretty cool, uh, especially after they change it, where you can get a bunch of different nuts. I don't think there's a lot of... I think there's only really two that are super viable. Maybe three. I don't think the crit one is very good at all. Um, but uh, that dash range is long. Has a global ultimate. Pretty fun god to play. Has a very early window of damage, though. Ravana got changed from... Was he... Yeah, he was a warrior. Now he's an assassin. Has been for a couple years now. Um, early game. Um, some people are absolutely unkillable with this guy. It's crazy. Um, I like the backflip to get out of damage or CC. Um, actually, he, I used to play him a lot. He might be an A. I remember specifically being really terrible with this god and playing him in, in uh, Siege, which is a horrific game mode that is now going by the wayside. But I don't pick this god over a bunch of other junglers. Um, I think I did nothing but complain about Nemesis, but then put her in A. I, I do like Nemesis. It's just that she's hard to play. <laughs> Um, whereas I think his most of his stuff is really easy to hit. Um, I think King Arthur is probably the, the most creative, interesting um, god they ever put in this game. Um, really great move sets. I think it's kind of infuriating at times um, to have to hit so many moves in solo lane. Why is it doing this? Uh, to like do the equivalent damage of what one a guy can do with one move. But um, it's really great. It's a really great god. Wh uh, whoever created this god... It's the best god in the game, absolutely. Um, I really like playing Scylla, but I think she's B tier, B -tier um, mostly because I think everyone wants to play her because she does high damage, but uh, most people don't have the skill sets to be doing so. Um, Sun is cool, ult is cool, like that it resets. Um, I just noticed there's no Charybdis in here. There's going to be a couple gods missing, that's fine. I really didn't play any of the new gods anyway, so. Serket is A, you can play your support. Um, I remember a solo lane matchup where he bodied Deathwalker. Um, fine, okay, that is. I, I didn't say that. Um, I really like her. It would be cool if they would have kept her the way she was where she has kind of the true damage. Um, but she still seems to be able to play perfectly fine and uh, do well and be, uh, do fine. Um, Scotty is probably one of my favorite hunters, especially the builder ability base. She just, like, slaps. Um, shout out to um, T-Money. The Scotty player, or Barracuda, probably. Um, the dog was an interesting addition early on, and then they kind of just... I think 
Scotty became a four Erlong, and they just gave him a dog too. I don't know if that's in his lore or whatever. Um, like the God a lot, like the ultimate a lot. It can be a little bit goofy that you can ult so far, but uh, I don't really see a lot of people playing this God. But uh, I like her plenty. Um, Sobek, I think, is A tier. He is just kind of the prototypical um, support. I like the fact that he's got the pluck, has a heal, good ultimate. Uh, annoying to play against in solo lane because he just simply doesn't die. Um, yeah, I don't think you ever are mad to have a Sobek on your team. Soul is probably one of my favorite ADC characters. I note that I did not say Hunter, I said ADC. But um, really cool passive that you have to keep up all the time. Um, the ultimate is good for securing, can be good for damage, but it's sometimes hard to lead it properly. Once you get used to that, it's a lot better. Um, and if you're in a team fight, you can drop it in the middle of everyone. I think she's a really interesting uh, god. And Epsilon Soul is probably one of my favorite skins in the game. Um, Sun Wukong is a really fun uh, solo laner. Can be a fun jungler, depending on uh, the situation. Um, the Transform is really cool. Two is a, is a good move. You can snipe people with that one from like a million miles away. And his ult um, is a heal. Um, and actually, the doppelganger for the ult in Conquest can sometimes get me, which I never thought it would. It's really easy to pick up in other game modes. Not really that one as much. Um, interesting in solo lane right now because you can basically fill, build him full damage and he's just as impactful as um, someone that doesn't that has full tank right um, Susno I like another really high execution god you can do ultimate blink ultimate um, you can teleport with your three to certain places really a big brain thinker's god and to play him fully optimally is really hard. But I, I think that he's a really good and thought well thought out character. Um, Sylvanas is my favorite guardian. Do I have one? Do I have some for each role? I don't have an ADC in this role. I'm not putting Uller in there. Let's go ahead and just put Soul up there because that'll give you like an ADC carry role. Um, they, I think just everything about him is great. I'm not really even sure if he really needed to have the rework with his moves. But the grab through walls is genius. Um, I think you can now throw the bush over the walls. I think. Um, the mana on the bush, the healing. He's just like everyone's dream of what a guardian should be. And I really like that. Um, Terra. Terra's A tier, maybe even higher. I actually like Terra quite a bit because the walls are just so interesting. There's so much you can do with them. Um, from blocking minions to blocking corridors. You don't have to just slam them. Uh, making the decision on whether to heal or smash the totem uh, for CC, I think it gives a lot of uh, got a lot of play there, and I think that's really the point. Um, I also noticed the emoji is not in here, so this must be a really old list. I like Thanatos a lot, but it doesn't really feel fun to play him because he's just an early game cheesy god, and um, I don't know if that's really the most fun thing in the world. But he does a lot of damage. I played him in solo, and that was kind of fun. It was different. Thor. Um, I don't, Thor had his little, I don't know about like pre-season four, but he had his little moment in the sun where he was really, really good in a recent season. And then he kind of got nerfed again, and now he's kind of passe. But I love the fact that the one is kind of a skill shot, um, as is kind of the, the CC with the two, unless you're just like using it as geometry to make sure people can't get by. Um, ult can be skill shotty. Um Passive, I feel like it's kind of mostly forgotten about, but it's just a really fun guy to play and really rewarding if you're um, playing him. And you can play him in solo lane, which I should do soon. Uh, the Zero Special, um, I really like Toth, but I lose every game I play with him. A lot of skill shots. Um, his ultimate is really cool. Um, I like his long range, like his built-in pen. Um, not really a great guy to play because of his weird lack of mobility, but Tear, I love Tear. Don't play him a lot, though. Um, I just don't know if he fits in this particular meta all that well, especially with getting um, Blackthorn Hammer. You obviously want to get a lot of um, cooldown. But uh, just super annoying in lane. There's very few gods like him uh, that do what he does and does it really ridiculously well. Really annoying in lane. Um, Julio had quite the fine um, tier before he had his issues with the league um 
and is always really fun to play. And if you can like in team fights um, hit your fearless, and if you can hit multiple people with the fearless, you just win. And there's no ifs and or, or buffs about that. Um, I love Uller. I don't play him enough to have um, all the moves now, but he is very um, unique in his skill set. Um, good damage, good CC. Um, you can play him um, with like auto attack or just like play off of his abilities, which is super cool too. Um, yeah, not a lot to say there. I like Vamana a lot. He's a very old school character, feels very old school. But you can play him in jungle, you can play him in solo. Um, has a slow, has the ultimate that make, let, lets him heal. I think the change to his ultimate was great. Um, has a knock up, which is really cool, and you can knock up into three. Um, I don't play him enough, but I do really like that god. But I put Vulcan in C tier. I don't play him basically at all. Um, I have not seen a whole lot of great Vulcans. I see a lot of bad ultimates. Um, not enough people use the turret correctly where you drop the turret in the direction you're running, not the direction you're running from. Because you end up not hitting the person pretty much ever. He's incredibly elusive, which is really cool. Um, has the ability to do... I think this is the thing that makes me most annoyed with Vulcan, is you can do a lot of damage and not be good. Because he has a lot of circles. And then a lot of people will complain to you that, hey, look, I did this, but really they had no impact. Never see his ultimate used to secure, which is really weird because it's so big. Um, once again, this is from a casual player's lens. Um, I don't know what makes Vulcan better. Can you tweak something to make it a little better? I don't know, but he kind of just annoys me in general. I don't think there's really any reason ever in any universe to play Shibalanke. The ultimate is, um, if you're playing casual or ranked and you have no comms, who cares anyway? Um, I just basically see him using it to get away from fights so that he's not winning because he's terrible. Um, Jing Chen? I like Jing Chen quite a bit. I wish he was a little bit more viable in solo lane. Other than that, I have no complaints. A lot of CC, a lot of movement, good passive where he heals a lot. Um, Ymir is also a... No, Ymir is better than Jing. Um, I like Ymir quite a bit, but you either win with Ymir or you lose really bad. I played him in solo. It was not great. Didn't go well. Gotta play him again. I had a jungle Ymir that was terrible. Um, but like, I feel like Cuckoo has the spit, um, which sets him apart from other Cuckoos. So like as a good Cuckoo, the Ymir has the walls. If you can get really good walls, your Ymir is fire. However, I usually see most people just have really dog shit walls. Um, I'm putting Zeus in C because I don't think he's interesting. He just does a lot of damage. He's really getting clear as shit. Um, and that's about it. Zhang, I, I'm going to put in B. I'm not particularly good with Zhang. Don't play him enough. Uh, wish I could play him in solo more to get better with him, but I really, honestly, am just not that good. Uh, but the heal is cool. Uh, people who don't buy blank Aegis with him, you're a fool. Uh, but that's it, I think. So in terms of our bell curve, we're a little bit we're a little bit above average, which is interesting. Um, let's just look at a few community ranks real quick. They have S, S, and S. They don't have anything below that. Lord. Matarasu is in the oof category for this one. Spank. I don't even know what that means. Ganesh, it's S tier, huh? Interesting. Um, do we have another community rankings? Where's best gods? This god sucks. Cyclone Spin 2021. Interesting. Subpar. I don't know who made this, but anyway. Um, that is going to be the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you like videos like this, we can make more. Or I'm thinking about having a video where my friends rank my gods based upon how good or bad I am with them. We can do that. I don't know. This person has a Matarasu who is broken. That's really weird. Um, so if I can get a couple friends together to just do a video where they roast me, that could be great. I'd have to figure out how we would logistically do that, either through Discord or something. But um, if hopefully we get some views on this, we have some discussion. Really want to get that discussion moving. Um, might not make a video tomorrow in preparation for making the Mr. Robot video. Really want to get that done. I'm just kind of nervous because I want to make sure I get everything done down pat. It is going to be a video specifically just me talking, similar to this, but literally no background, just a discussion. We're just going to go from 
season one to season four on my my belief on how or why the time machine works in that show um, there's going to be spoilers so don't watch it if that is the case because it is a great show you should watch it organically um, please leave a comment um, or subscribe or like really looking to start getting a conversation started um, we're getting a little bit of traction would like to get more and hopefully we can get some more action on the youtube uh, i'm sorry the twitch channel as well i'll leave a link to my screenplay again in there if you're interested in reading that hopefully i'm thinking about starting the next one today if i'm not lazy and my twitter will be on there as well um if you were here today thank you for watching if you're on youtube really appreciate you giving it a watch um thanks again and we will see you next time